Hit us with a quick riff of anything. Nice. Uh, what do I want to do? TheDailyRock.com, currently in the basement of Reggie's, and with Niall frontman Carl Sanders. How's it going? Doing fine. How are you today? I'm doing all right. All what right. are we playing here? Are we just jamming? We're just, uh, yeah, warming up. That's all. What do you typically like to warm up with? Right now you're playing some... The guitar. Well, clearly the guitar. Yes. If you warmed up playing a recorder or something, that would be kind of confusing. Hey, it wouldn't help warm up, actually, since I have to play the guitar during the show, so the recorder shops are useless. Of course. What uh, typically, though, do you play? Like, right now you're playing nice and slow and nice and kind of easy, kind of bluesy, sort of soulful stuff. <laughs> But then I'm sure also you practice death metal chops as well. You know it. Can yeah. we hear some? Can we hear some? <laughs> About how many hours a day you think you're practicing when you're on the road? Do you ever put the guitar down? And, uh, only when people interrupt me. Like uh, like for an interview or something like that, right? Or the, yeah, the interview or shower or sleep or, you know. So there are, there is time to, there is time to shower and sleep in the day? Yeah, well, I make time. Okay, yeah. fantastic. As uh, someone who is very well versed in Egyptology, how many hours a day do you spend watching National Geographic? Not as many as I'd like. Uh, mostly when I'm working on the record, uh, you know, researching lyrics or whatever, or trying to come up with ideas, that's when I'll turn the television on. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was also wondering, being so well versed, uh, someone who knows their history, is there a, a pharaoh any point in time in history that you thought was the most intriguing or the most interesting or whose story was really Well, different? sure, you know, Ramses the Great is, you know, one, did lots of stuff. He's inspired plenty of Nile songs. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, uh, out of all the death metalers that I have uh, interviewed, you're one of the chillest dudes <laughs> I've ever interviewed. Where does this laid back, I'm going to play blues during an interview, more uh, uh, personality come from for the most part? Well, I've part. already beat everybody up uh, that did interviews that I felt like beating up. So that's kind of, you know, been there, done that, you know. Typically, how yeah. would you like to beat me up during an interview? Well, I wouldn't want to beat you up. You're a nice guy. I try. Yeah. Actually, you're 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 a lot of fun. I was expecting it to be another one of those dreary interviews, but this turns out to be a fun one. What's a dreary interview typically? Yeah, uh, where they ask, uh, so what about this Egypt thing? When did you first become interested in Egypt? I've heard that question for the last, you know, 15 years mm -hmm. in like every silly interview. So somebody who doesn't ask that question is immediately my friend. I go straight to the National yeah. Geographic. Right on. History's Mysteries? History's what? Mysteries. Or there's a great new one with uh, Zahi Hawass called Chasing Mummies. I've seen it's that. Awesome. Yeah? yeah. Um, I actually got a song idea from one of the episodes. It was fucking killer. Yeah. What was the song idea? Um. Uh, you have defiled the great uh, monument. Anyway, I haven't fleshed out all the lyrics yet, but what it comes from, uh, Zahi Hawass had this uh, young girl who was one of his little helpers, right? Mm -hmm. And they were underneath uh, the Great Pyramid, and uh, she pees herself, right? And she she has to tell him, right? Uh, professor, professor, yeah, I. Uh, I sold myself, and of course she peed like in the Great Monument, right? So of course he lost his mind, fucking went mental, total like gonzo on her, was yelling at her, screaming at her, you have defiled the sacred monuments! And I'm like, 
Whoa, dude, that's like out of a Nile song. I gotta write something about this. So you have to make a song now with that in the chorus, and that's we'll make chorus. everyone piss their pants in the crowd. I hope so. That would be really epic. <laughs> but, a bit smelly, but epic. Yeah. yeah. Instead of the brown note, you have the yellow note. <laughs> so, it'd be pretty epic. Like, hey, did you go to the Nile concert where everyone pissed themselves from the new music? That'd be Dude, cool. That would be a thing. It could go viral. Yeah. yeah. With uh, with your albums, you guys have gone... Dude, what a what? great idea for a video. What? Right? Yeah. Having everyone piss themselves in the <laughs> Nile video? Yeah, so. We'd put on our circuit, so we'll take there you it. Go. That'd be pretty epic. Just urine-filled video. Would you piss yourself to be in a Nile video? I pro you know, if to be in a Nile video, yeah. it's it's worth it. <laughs> I mean, there are other times where it's happened, and I would not. It wasn't for a cause. Wait, you might as well do it for a good. Might cause. as well go do it for a good cause. Yeah. So that'd be cool. Yeah, we'll donate to charity. <laughs> and he goes back to playing the blues. That's fantastic. <laughs> so with. With the, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Please keep jamming. Yeah, you almost interrupted the high note. Can't I do that. Stopped it though. No. I stopped it so you can. Pick talk. it up. Pick it up. There you go. Okay. Sorry. So how long have you been in this Egypt thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. So okay, so you're saying you already have new ideas for the next album. Fantastic. How much longer do you think it's going to take to give us more and more and more and more and more? Uh, well, we had a meeting with our management and said, well, we think the new album should be done here, boys. Um, so we we're like, okay, <laughs> that's what we'll do. So uh, maybe record by fall time. Okay. So we'll see you again in about a year, you think? Something like that. That'd yeah. be cool. Unless you want to come visit us. That'd be cool, too. Yeah, need to um, find an excuse to break out the barbecue grill. Of course. And you know, you coming here would be a neat excuse for me to bring a spare change of shorts. So Exactly. It all works yeah. out. What uh you know, it's very prevalent throughout your albums how you've gone back and forth between sometimes a more progressive sound and sometimes a much more dead metal sound. Where do you think you're heading from here? I mean from right now I'd be saying you'd be going for a much more progressive sound. Actually, uh the mood of the band is we want to do some radically different shit shit we've never done before. Uh, the last album, I feel like, was very classic Nile, definitive Nile. You know, this is a Nile sound, and this is what Nile sounds like. It's the best we could capture the Nile sound. Well, now, it's time to experiment a little. Any uh, experiment how? Lyrics, themes? I have no idea. You just gotta go somewhere you haven't gone before? Yeah, exactly. Get in the car and drive. Taking some risks, man. Life is risk. If you walk out across the street to go, you know, get a cup of coffee, you're taking a risk. So, what the hell? Why not? Well, I have to admit, uh, tonight is my first night of seeing Niall. No kidding. No kidding. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Will tonight be the night that I will piss my pants, or do I have to wait a year for that? You can go ahead and piss your pants. Tonight, yeah. Don't, don't, don't wait. Don't put off till tomorrow. What <laughs> you can do tonight. Well, Mr. Sanders, thank you very much, sir. My pleasure, sir. Appreciate uh, you giving us the time and uh, look forward to a great show and appreciate the blues, man. No problem, Dig it. All right. Hank Pearl with the DailyRock.com. We're out of here. <laughs>